All right, I want to take a few minutes and talk about how we can prevent our pivot table columns from auto fitting their width. Now, by default, every field in a pivot will adjust the underlying column width automatically to accommodate the longest value in that field. And normally this is helpful because it means that all of the text in our fields will be visible by default, but it can be really inconvenient if you're working with a number of very long text-based fields that might have uh, hundreds of characters or words. So you may end up with something that looks like this. Here we've got a long text-based description field that we've pulled into our row labels. And as a result, it stretched column B well beyond the width of our window, which is making it very tough to work with. Now, simple fix here to prevent that automatic resizing or auto fitting from happening. All we have to do is jump into our options tab or our options button within our analyze tab. And we're going to click or uncheck this box that says auto fit column widths on update. And that's in the layout and format tab of the pivot table options dialog box. And then once you do that, it will basically prevent column B from resizing or whichever column this field lives in as you drag that field into your row or column labels. So one other tip here, you can use the wrap text option from your home tab to create something that looks like this, where you're still able to see all of the text in that field. It just kind of rolls it into new rows instead of putting all of that text on a single line. So the use cases here, working with text fields like survey results or social media posts, very common use case, or if you just want to force your pivot table column width to remain fixed no matter how your table layout has changed or adjusted. So let's jump into a pro tip workbook and I'll show you what this option looks like. All right, so if you'd like to follow along, go ahead and open up your Excel pro tip workbook. I'm in the table of contents and look for the gray pivot table tip section, specifically the auto fit column width demo, and go ahead and link straight out to that tab. Now what we have here is a simple pivot. Um, the fields here are based on wine tasting data. We've got information about individual wines and wineries and country of origin and province. We also have the taster names and this text-based description from the tasting, as well as our point rating and a price per bottle of wine. Now, if we grab this long text-based description field and pull it into our row labels after the taster name, see what happens here? It's stretched column B way, way out, kind of beyond the window, and it's made it very difficult and awkward to work with, as you can see, just trying to even just navigate through the view here, um, which is quite annoying because it's fit to the longest description in this entire field. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pull description out, which is going to kind of shrink column B back down. I'm going to go into pivot table tools, analyze and drill into my options here. And within that layout and format tab, this box that says auto fit column widths on update is generally checked by default. All we've got to do is uncheck that box, press OK, and then watch what happens when we pull description back in. There we go. Now column B is an average column width. It didn't stretch it out to auto fit. And now I have a couple options. I can stretch it myself to a width that I feel comfortable with, but note that it's still cutting off my text. That's one description per row. One update that I often like to make in cases like this is select all of column B, head to my home tab and activate this wrap text option in the alignment pane. And that basically just extends or wraps the text to multiple rows in cases where it would have been cut off. And now I'm able to see all of the text in these descriptions and customize exactly how wide I'd like column B to be. So there you have it, simple but effective tip, preventing your pivot table fields from auto-fitting those column widths.